Hey you all and welcome back to my channel. So today I was looking around my kitchen and I was thinking about how before winter break started, I said that I was going to eat really healthily um, for the entirety of winter break because why does winter break mean that you just eat like garbage? But these bananas determined that that was a lot. So now I have to find something to do with these bananas since I've been just snacking and getting all fat and sassy, you know? So I'm going to make banana bread, which is the opposite of healthy, but it is what it is. And these need something to be done with them. And since they're not frozen and I can't make a delightful, nice cream or a smoothie, I'm going to make some banana bread with them. So go with me as I make some banana bread. I'm going to half this recipe because as I told you all in a previous video, my oven is currently out of commission. Supposedly the repairman is coming with parts today, hopefully, fingers crossed. However, I'm gonna half this recipe because my toaster oven is kind of small, so I'm just gonna use half of the required ingredients. So here I have one cup of flour, one half cup of sugar, and uh, a half teaspoon of baking soda. If you were going to make a full recipe, then you would want two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, and one <laughs> table, one teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, so you would want to have the full recipe here. However, I'm gonna do um, one half of the recipe. So I'm gonna use one half of the ingredients. Once again, I'm gonna note that since I'm making half of the recipe, I'm only gonna use half of the required um, ingredients. So in the full recipe, you wanna use three whole bananas, but since I'm doing half, I'm only gonna use one and a half bananas mashed up. I try to get those really good because I don't really like chunks of banana in my banana bread. Uh, however, I just did it by hand, so is it, it's as good as it's gonna get. Um, so I'm gonna add that, and then I'm gonna add the remainder of the wet ingredients. So I'm debating on if I'm gonna use applesauce instead of the oil. A lot of times I'll use applesauce instead of oil in recipes because um, I don't mind the consistency of it. It does change the texture a little bit. However, I just try to stay away from using a lot of oil. Um, the recipe calls for one half cup of oil. Um, if you're gonna half it like me, then that would be one fourth cup of oil. But I do think that I'm gonna go with one fourth cup of applesauce. It will change the texture of it slightly. However, that is just something that I do when the recipe calls for oil. So I've added all of the ingredients and I have them all incorporated. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some nuts to the uh, banana bread mixture. I'm gonna put in walnuts. Um, you can do pecans if you like, or any other nut. I like to do walnuts, um, even though they're not really my favorite nut. Um, my favorite is almonds, and next up, cashews. But I'm gonna add in some walnuts, and that should do not too many, because again, I'm halving the recipe. You don't want it to be like, full of nuts you just want one every now and again um then i'm also going to add in some chocolate chips because why not choose balance this early in the morning um just a handful again just a little surprise and delight while you're eating this i'm just going to put a handful in and then i'm going to incorporate that just incorporating it just slightly and then um of course i'm going to get it in the pan and then I'm going to bake it up and I will come back and show you all what it looks like when it's finished. Um, one time I made a marble banana bread and I just thought about that while I was making this because it was really nice with the combined chocolate banana bread with a regular banana bread with some chocolate chips. Really delicious. Maybe I'll make that again so that you all can see that, but this is going to be a great recipe and hopefully it turns out nicely in this toaster oven. Oh my gosh, you all, bless that little toaster oven. It is doing its job. I'm excited that it came out nice and golden brown. You can see one of the chocolate chips peeking up, and this is the finished product. 
I'll show you what it looks like when I slice into it. That way you can see the texture difference when using applesauce. But here we go. All right, as you can see, I couldn't resist. So I've already enjoyed a piece of this banana bread. So this is what it looks like. This is just a little slither. You can see the walnuts and the chocolate chips in the inside, but it is really moist, really delicious. I love the texture using applesauce. I guess it's a personal preference. I just don't like to use a lot of oil in my cooking. The more sugar, the better, but the oil, I just can't vibe with it. So this is the banana bread. If you make some, let me know and uh, hopefully you all have a wonderful day.